Hey guys, this video let's build the best zero tick kelp bone meal farm for the 1.19 version of Minecraft Bedrock. <laughs> to build a two cell version of this farm, everything you're gonna need is in this double chest. You can go ahead and make a screenshot if you want to do this. By the way, if you find that the video helps you, then please subscribe to this channel. A subscription would literally mean the world to me. Thanks for this at this point. And now I don't want to bother you anymore. Let's start. This is an upgraded version of the last one I have shown on my channel. So if you have the old one, then you can go ahead and change it to this design. Also to avoid any problems, you need to chunk align this thing. I'll have a proper chunk aligning tutorial in the video description, click on it and you'll see how it works. Anyways, let's build this farm. The first thing you want to do is to search a nice flat spot for this farm. You can build this underground as well if you want to do this. Then you want to go ahead and dig out two blocks with one block in the middle. And then you want to place a redstone torch at this block and you want to place a redstone dust at the other side. Then you want to place one block on top of both components and you want to place a redstone repeater in between and you want to leave it like this. This should flicker around and you can shut this redstone clock off by just placing a lever. Then come behind your redstone clock and place one, two, three, four pieces of redstone dust. Then you want to come in front of this redstone dust and place two sticky pistons like this. These two should extend and you want to make sure that you destroy the blocks that are underneath the piston arms and it should look something like this. By doing this we ensure that our zero tick mechanism will work. Now go ahead and place two sand blocks in front of the pistons and two on top of the pistons and it should look like this. Next go ahead and place four blocks on top of the sticky pistons then place two blocks right here and you want to place one more block at this side as well. Then you want to place a piston on both of these blocks. These pistons should face this side. As the next step, you want to place spare blocks right here and you want to place double chests in front and it should look like this. Then you want to place four hoppers underneath these two double chests and then what you want to do is to dig out a hole. The sword should be two blocks deep and should have the size three by two so that you can easily place one composter underneath each of these four hoppers you placed. Then you want to just dig out some blocks right here. You want to place a double chest in front like this and you want to place four hoppers behind. If you can't reach the one at the back, then just dig out one block and just place the hoppers right there. And now underneath each composter, there should be one hopper. Now you can just fill in all these blocks you already destroyed. And if you want to, you can just dig out these blocks and place two letters like this so that you can very easily access this collection chest. Now to finish off our storage system, dig out the two spare blocks you placed and replace them with one hopper that should link towards his double chest. Then the next part is to stack up three blocks right here, place two on top of the pistons, three again on this side, and then just do the same thing, one block in front like this, then place a spare block and place four glass blocks right here. If you want to, you can just finish up this wall but this isn't necessary just want to make sure that the water that we will place now doesn't flow out and in order to do this you want to place two trapdoors right here it should be a wooden trapdoor and then waterlock both of these trapdoors as you can see right here you should have one block empty so that the kelp doesn't clog up up here and then you can already place in your kelp at both of these sand blocks as the last step, you want to come to the back of the farm, you want to place a redstone torch at the side of this back sticky piston, then place a block on top, you want to place a redstone torch at the block, you want to place one more block and one more redstone torch, then finally a block right here, two more right there, and then simply add four redstone dust. Make sure that you don't screw this up. So again, you should have one redstone torch at the side of the sticky piston. You should have a block above. You should have one more redstone torch right there with a block. And then one more redstone torch on top of the block, not at the side of the block. Up on top of the redstone torch, there should be one more block. And there you should have two solid blocks with redstone on torch. And you want to take this redstone line up to these two blocks so they link to the trapdoors. 
Now, as you can see, our farm is finished. If you want to just earn the kelp and don't want to automatically convert it into bone meal, then you have to leave out these hoppers and everything below so that all the kelp storages in these double chests. But with this system, we automatically convert it to bone meal and you'll see how it works right now. Now to stop the system, just activate the lever right here. Then as you can see, the pistons will push all the kelp in these hoppers. The trapdoors should flicker and then everything should be converted into bone meal and will later be starched right here. The farm will take a few seconds to start, but then as you can see, all the bone will come in in a high amount. But of course, at the beginning of the video, I have told you the materials for a two cell version of this kelp bone meal farm for this design. But if you want to do this, you can expand this two cell version up to a total size of 14 cells. In order to do this, as for the two cell version, the first step is to create a redstone clock. In order to do this, just dig out two blocks, place a redstone torch, place a redstone dust, two blocks on top, one redstone repeater in between, then flick off the redstone clock, then place two redstone behind and now you have to decide on how many cells you want to have. Let's take four cells. If you want to have four cells, then now place one, two, three, for redstone dust, if you wanted to have six cells, you can just add two. So you have six redstone dust in this line plus these two. And then what you want to do is to place one sticky piston in front of each redstone dust. As you can see, we now have six sticky pistons for six cells of the farm. You now want to destroy the blocks that are underneath the piston arms. And if you can't reach them, then just dig out some more blocks and then replace the blocks right here. And now just add your sand and of course on top of the piston arms as well. And then finish off the system in the same manner as I have shown you for the two cell variant. I hope this makes sense to you. If not, then please ask me in the comment section. This farm is very efficient and will give you tons of bone meal if you just AFK nearby. If you want to quit the area or you want to quit your game, I recommend just flicking off the farm just to ensure that it doesn't break. One thing that can happen is that the sand glitches through the pistons underneath the pistons and then what you want to do is just to clean this system. So you want to dig out the sand blocks and you want to replace them where they should be on top of the piston arms. Maybe you have to come inside of the farm and of course replant the kelp. Then let's test if it works again. As you can see, the farm will start working again and you don't have any problems. If you have any problems or questions with this farm, then you can leave them down in the comment section. If you want to get in contact with me or have any questions to me and want to ask them, then you can do this on the community Discord server by James. A link to this is in the video description. If this tutorial helped you, then a subscription would help me very, very much. Please subscribe to this channel and please like the video if you did like the video. And then I hope we'll see us again in the next video. See ya!